прихожу и забираю все сокровище, весь хайп, деньги, славу. Я пиратствовал в России, теперь буду пиратствовать в Америке, на берегах Америки. The one-eyed, undefeated, six-foot-two middleweight, who even fought at 198 pounds before, holds a record of 11-0 in professional MMA, 16-0 if you count modified MMA rules. Out of those 11 professional wins, he has 10 knockouts. He's only gone to the decision one time in pro MMA. Sharapood and Magomedov is a menace out there. He is kind of redefining of what people think of a Dagestani fighter. A lot of people look at Dagestani fighters as having the best wrestling in the game, right? They're mostly wrestlers. Shara is actually a striker with some decent wrestling. It needs to be worked on for sure. But the guy has devastating power in the stand-up. He's very fast. He's lightning quick, puts together impressive combinations, extremely dexterous with his kicks. He's more of a kicker than he is a puncher. He's going to be a handful for the middleweight division, especially because that division is full of strikers, right? His takedown defense is decent. He has been taken down by low-level fighters before, multiple of them. It's pretty ironic that his weakness are takedowns when he's from Dagestan. Obviously, there's going to be some guys that are not going to be wrestlers coming out of there, but he actually did start in wrestling. That was his first martial art before striking, and that seems to be the biggest area he has the most problems in. So it's not necessarily where he probably wants it to be going into the UFC, but he is fighting at middleweight. He's not going to fight strong wrestlers besides potentially Hamzat and Bo Nickel. In a division of strikers, Shara is going to fit in perfectly. He's going to shine and deliver some devastating knockouts. We shouldn't get too confident yet because he is debuting against Bruno Silva, which should be a big test for his skills. We have to see how good he performs in that before we get confident in his abilities. The guy's almost like a... He has a pretty violent past, and we know that he doesn't like to lose. There was that one Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu tournament that he participated in. He lost by a heel hook. He stood over the guy about to fight him, and he kicked him in the leg and walked away. He's fought people outside the cage. You guys can check those out as well. He's a pretty mean guy, to say the least. But for your entertainment purposes, he fits in your villain role very well. But look at what he does in the fights. I mean, Shara has a pattern with the way he fights. He's more of a kicker than he is a puncher, and he's especially active with his lead leg. He throws a lot of lead side kicks to the body and lead hook kicks to the head. You don't really see that kind of mix-up from a lot of fighters outside of some of the Taekwondo or traditional karate fighters, like Yara Rodriguez or Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Shara is coming in this with a Muay Thai background, throwing these sort of stuff regularly. He even has a hook kick knockout after setting up with a side kick to the body first. He extends far in from long range, full extension on the side kick to the body to condition the opponent to block his midsection. And when you block a side kick to the body, it's not like blocking a round kick that you see so often in MMA. You have to kind of deflect it in a certain direction instead of just blocking and absorbing. If you block and absorb a side kick, it's going to push you away into the cage. So it's best to deflect the kick. And you see his opponent when Shira goes in for the hook kick because it is a similar setup. There's a similar kind of chamber before you throw it compared to the side kick. The first like 20 to 30 percent of that kick is exactly the same as a side kick. It's the next like 70 or 80% that it turns into a different kick. And because of that first 20 to 30% startup, his opponent thought it was going to be a side kick to the body. He drops his hands low to his midsection and looks to parry or grab the side kick. And because that his head is exposed and he gets hit right to the temple, knocked out cold. You don't see a lot of hook kick knockouts like that in MMA. And he's going to be absolutely throwing stuff like this in the UFC. He absolutely loves the hook kick, man. He throws it all the time. It's such an underrated technique that blends in with so many different kind of setups. It's actually one of the best techniques to throw when you're trying to set up the opponent for it because they never expect it. But with this kick requires a lot of skill and dexterity. You have to be extremely flexible to throw a proper hook kick. So as you can see from far range, not only from the side kicks and the hook kicks, but also the round kicks to the leg, to the body, to the head, he is very hard to handle from far. And because of that, a lot of fighters try to get in close on him. Shara is extremely good at backstep counters. Extremely precise on where he has to place his shots while also moving his feet in the correct places in order to angle off his opponent's punches, landing his own with devastating power. But from there, 
He has a nasty tie plumb. Nasty in the clinch, man, with knees especially. He's finished a couple of his opponents with body knees and has hurt many others with knees to the head. He has a strong elbow frame, separating the opponent for knees to the head, and he does this especially to fighters that try to take him to the ground. His way of defending takedowns generally come from the tie plumb and punishes them with knees. So from far range, he is hard to handle because of his long range kicks and setups off of his kicks. In close range, he's got that tie clinch. The best way to probably fight this guy is somewhere in the middle and that's where you can actually set up a lot of your takedowns it's very hard to strike with this guy he will expose himself sometimes and trade with you which can open some things up for his future opponents but generally speaking takedowns is probably the best way to go and beat shara at the moment the biggest hole that he has after studying a bunch of tape on him he does not hide his light kicks most of the time when he's throwing light kicks they are naked there is a telegraph and he's been taken down off of his naked light kicks several times throughout his career already and those are not against great wrestlers either. So Shira Magomedov has a lot of hype coming to him. And it's so far looking pretty good. I really hope to see a good performance against Bruno Silva. A very tough UFC debut. A lot of people a lot of people will not be ready for someone like Bruno Silva for their first fight in the UFC. And if he gets past Bruno Silva, especially if he knocks him out, it's going to open up every contender's eyes in that division. And what kind of monster is lurking? 